and and my time zone it's 11 11 and good morning good afternoon and good evening to uh, everyone joining us for the ninth in our series of chakra and archangel meditations originally being broadcast live in the become what you believe group on facebook and each month we have a special guest who comes on and channels an archangel this this week uh, this month it's uh, lino jima returning um triumphant return <laughs> to uh, channel archangel Raphael, the angel of healing so welcome lena thank you pleasure to be here yeah nice to see you again yeah um and so we are going to uh, just a couple of minutes of just to just to let you know what's coming up um we're going to do uh we're going to revisit our sacred spaces and i want to we'll spend a little extra time on that this month because i uh, i want to um, make sure we're really feeling that you know nine months into this and some of these you know some of you watching are going to be the first time so i want to make sure you have a little bit of background on what that's all about we're going to um, establish our light pillar we're going to do a little bit of the taurus fields experience and then um we're going to hand it over to Lena and Archangel Raphael, they're going to they're going to be uh, uh, we're up to the throat chakra and in the ninth month. We're doing a 12 month series, 12 different chakras. Also, uh, um, uh, what happened to the music? Um, also inspired by. Um, uh, Alana. Alentia uh, Koba's uh, beautiful uh, artwork, which uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're seeing that as the uh, as the cover picture, the thumbnail. There we go. <laughs> it was awfully quiet. And um, yeah, and it's also the cover pick of our of our uh, group each month too. And so we're nine months into a beautiful series. They're all available on YouTube.com slash my name. Brad Wall, Rob. And uh, I realize most of the time I don't say my name during these recordings, <laughs> but uh, that is it. So, um, yeah, I guess without further ado, we can go ahead and get started. So, um, get yourself comfortable. I'm going to take my glasses off. That's just the way I get comfortable. Like, uh, Funny things like uh, wearing the same clothes or sitting in the same spot or taking your glasses off these can become triggers to get you back into meditation quicker and another way is what we're going to do first uh well first let's do a little breathing and then that other way is getting into the sacred spaces um, so just relax close your eyes and breathing in and up Stretch your focus all the way through the top of your body, up through the clouds, past the planets, all the way up to source itself. Just tagging, touching, connecting with that energy, and then breathing out and down, all the way through your body, down to the heart of Mother Gaia. And then breathing in and up. Coming to a rest at your heart chakra. Now picture your sacred space, whether it's the space you've been using all year long or something new you would like to try today can be indoors or outdoors, day or night, summer or winter. Today's the first day of fall for many listeners and the first day of spring for others. And, and see, really see what your sacred space looks like. Is it a forest? Is it a beach? Is it a mountainside? Is it an ocean? But take a moment to see what it looks like and then hear, hear any sounds associated with it. Rustling trees, lapping waves. Next, try to smell. 
what's around you. Salty air, loamy, moist soil. And with that smell, see if there's an associated taste as they're often related. Or reach out and pick a sprig of mint or pluck a piece of fruit off of a tree and taste your sacred space. And finally, feel. Feel the dirt or sand or even rocks or water below you as you're sitting or lying down or floating. Reach out and feel the moist soil or the dry sand. Get all five normal senses involved in making this your unique sacred space, one you can return to any time for any meditation, for any situation, which makes you feel better when you return here. Bringing your attention back to your heart. Picture, if you will, a bundle of light fiber optics, fiber cables, light cables. A loose bundle of several cables and picture that rising up from your heart through your high heart your throat your third eye in the middle of your head and as we progress upwards the bundle starts to loosen and the cables start to spread out so that by the time we get to the crown chakra we're literally a hundred loose cables going through the thousand petal lotus of the crown chakra and then finally spreading out further as we reach the soul star chakra above our heads and let the cables drop down all around you front back sides diagonals just feel them slowly Wrapping around your body loosely, maybe a meter away on all sides, but still a cocooning feeling of loving energy. I feel as they dropping down through past the torso and your hips and your legs until they get down into the ground. Once they're under the surface of the ground, feel them curling back up as they pass through the earth star chakra below your feet, through the link chakra between your knees, your base chakra, sacral, hara in the belly, solar plexus, and back to the heart where we pause. Now this will continue, this pattern will continue up, down, around, up and back in. But now we're going to combine that with the same bundle going downward, starting at the heart, dropping through through the lower chakras, down out of your body into the ground, curling up, 
and around. So it's passing by your torso, your shoulders, your head until it starts to curl and drop down through your soul star and back into your body through the upper chakras and landing back in your heart again so now we have the torus field going as it does in both directions so this time try to actually experience starting with the heart feel the pull going upwards and downwards and forgive yourself if this is a little awkward to experience on the first try you feel the fiber cables going up and down simultaneously till they finally reach the soul star above the earth star below then curving down from above and up from below, passing each other on the way. And then dropping down through the soul star and coming up through the earth star. And this time when we get to the heart, let's just keep going. Feel the flow going up and down simultaneously. Up through your upper chakras, down through your lower chakras, out of your body on both ends, curling around from top to bottom, bottom to top. So you reach the heart again and we take one more pass up and down, both together. Whenever you do this in the future, feel free to wave your arms around, kind of guide the fibers, the torus field, the energies. And as we come back to a rest in the heart, let's bring our focus up to the throat chakra. and ask Lena to join us with a message from Archangel Raphael. Okay. So now we invite Archangel Raphael to join us in this equinox throat chakra healing meditation I ask of him to please come in and join us with the energies and messages that are most needed for everyone here Archangel Raphael indeed I place my energy is a green emerald green ball of light exactly inside the th throat chakra of each and every one of you this emerald green begins to pull the energy from your throat chakra taking away some of the detriments our gray energy that is stuck within your throat. This acts as a cleanse and much like the toroidal field that was awakened in the beginning. These cells, the, great, the gray cells, they begin to float up, up and out but they are released on the outside of your aura and your toroidal field. This is a cleanse so that you all are becoming clear of what has been hindering this center. 
some of you may feel it is a very 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 old energy from years some of you may feel it is very light and it has just been bothering you for a few days whichever the case allow the gray to be released from your throat aura and toroidal field and as it clears the gray energy begins to become golden and in the toroidal field it goes down closes up in the middle again and goes up from your feet through your chakras to heal your feet your legs your base chakra your sacral your umbilical chakra your solar plexus your heart and coming back to the throat as this cleanse continues the golden energy goes up again in the toroidal field up 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 creating more cleanse more space for golden light to reach the depths of the detriments that lack of communication with your own self and then with others create this is being cleansed this is being sealed with golden energy so that you also in this open field begin to receive some codes of light from above from the divine from me and the angelic realm codes of light in an aquamarine color they descend from your crown chakra down through your third eye and then they are reallocated in your throat creating a spiral of aquamarine points of light much like seeds of light they begin to create this spiral so as to pr protect this space and connect downwards to your heart so that divine communication divine heart communication is possible all of you already have this ability but it must be connected from time to time so as to enhance it and recreate it in your physical self these codes of light are helping each and every one of you in a different way they are in the aquamarine color so that you can free yourselves from prior programming or from prior detrimental beliefs this is different for each and every one of you divine love is being sent your way with these divine codes of light so that the throat chakra spread around your aura your physical self so as to become a part of you to continue on with you in your 
journey to ascension. We all from the angelical realm are available and happy to be a part of your ascension progress. This throat chakra healing and toroidal energy will continue on as we go silent. Please allow your body to feel into all the energies as the healing continues on.
As we slowly and gently bring our focus back to our sacred spaces, let's feel once again the vibrancy of our five senses. And take a moment to feel with all of them our great gratitude to the archangels who have joined us so far this year. Sandalphon with the Earth Star Chakra, Han Yao with the Link. Ragel at the root chakra and Shamuel with the sacral. Uriel came for the Hara chakra and Gabriel the solar plexus. Michael joined us for the heart chakra and Raziel for the high heart. And next month, we hope to hear from Baracchio. But today, let's give special gratitude to guest Lino Jima and Archangel Raphael. Thank you for tuning in your sacred spaces and to your own ability of healing within with our help we evolve together it is our pleasure to be with you at all times this healing continues but we say bye for now 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Archangel Raphael. And as we find ourselves floating back away from our sacred spaces into our bodies, let's reoxygenate with a revisit to our light pillars, breathing in and up. Down and out. Two more times, in and out. Down and out. In and up. And down and out. And back up to our heart chakra. And when you feel comfortable, you can open your eyes, wiggle your fingers and toes, rotate your shoulders, stretch your backs, whatever helps you bring yourself back into the 3D, hopefully rejuvenated and maybe a little bit of healing. With all my love, Always. Namaste. Thank you. Hmm.